Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how to build a chatbot using ChatGPT in Angular. Come, let's get started. On my screen, this is the sample app that I have created and I showed you in the previous video. So I'm going to host this in the GitHub and I'll share you the link of the project. So basically, you know what is OpenAI company and how this ChatGPT was created and how people are crazy now using it, right? So the artificial intelligence. So if you open up this app, go to demo, you can actually give a prompt and which will give you a response on the right side. Okay, so you can type anything and it is going to respond to what you're asking. So that is the uh, the demo part. But let's go to the chat with Mr. Boat. Okay, so basically I've built a boat, uh, a chat application kind of thing. So which will have an interactive section with the chat GPT. So what you ask is what will be uh, forwarded to the chat GPT. And based on the response that it is giving for your question, it will be appended to the front of the screen. So you will see kind of a conversation. So let's start with a hey, hello there. This is Karthik. How are you doing? Right. See, it started responding as if you're talking to a person. So I'm doing great. Thank you. How about yourself? So it's asking. So I'm going to respond in a natural uh, way that I'm doing good. Thanks. And then I will start with a different conversation now. OK, let's see what happens with this. See, it responded that glad to hear it and what kind of things that you have. It, it started asking me next question. So it is predicting based on what I started the conversation. OK, so I'm going to deviate the conversation to, to a different topic now. So I'm actually started asking that I wanted to excel in my skills in Azure. What should I do? So it's doing some analysis and, you know, the API will respond shortly. See, now it gathered some information and it is guiding us what we have to do. So if you read through this, right, it basically says what we have to do and all like, you know, familiarize yourself with the resource. It's all about the question that you asked. OK, the response is almost, you know, relevant to what you asked. So so you don't need to, you know, go for Google and search and find it from some website it itself. It's uh, telling you some good suggestion. So I'm now asking the next question related to the previous conversation. I'm saying I'm planning to do some particular certification and what should I do? So see, it is then guiding us in a different way or a step by step in section of what to do. Now, if you look at this, this chat uh, application, it clearly differentiates with the color of what you typed, what was answered. And you know, it will even give you a loading symbol of that it is working on it. Okay, so I can still continue with a different question. I wish to stay focused on my certification. What is the study plan? Give me some study plan. See, and then it has started guiding us. You have to have some dedication, some focus time, you know, then do blah, blah, blah. And then it's it's giving you. But basically, the idea of this video was to using chat GPT API. How can you build an artificial intelligent uh, application, the chat board, or it could be anything. Uh, you can do so many things with this uh, AI, you know, based on the parameters that you tweak in for your application, you can build it. You can build an image generator application using the chat GTP itself. You just need to customize your application, right? Now, if I start asking very different question than what I was conversation, uh, what was I was talking about? See, it's like I'm talking about some travel plan now. I'm not even referring to what I was I was asking earlier. Okay, so now if I uh, say like this, it's going to respond to me. So one thing you should keep in mind is the prompt. Prompt means the question asked to a AI should be as descriptive as possible. Only then you start getting a valid or a you know expected answer from the AI. It's like this: you're asking question and it. If the person hearing the question don't understand, obviously he or she will give some, you know, incorrect answer. Exactly same AI, you feed correct questions, it will give you a good answer. So now you started seeing how this chat bot was built, right? It's all with the chat GPT API. And um, I think uh, this is fair enough for you guys to start with an application. I will share the angular part. Uh, the angular application itself okay the only thing that you need to change in the replication after you download from github is change the key once you change the key of the key that you have then the application will start working nothing else is required to change okay all right 
now let's quickly take a look at the code that was behind this chatbot okay so in this application you can see so many components depo component is the one which you saw on the second navigation right which will explain you about the the coding and then the models that was used and all those things so these are the navigations you can see the home demo and the other navigation so that's the application right so the one that we have built is under the customer support component okay so it's kind of i treated ai as a customer support so all right so this is the customer support component so basically this has a simple html and then you know the model so i have an interface called chat with bot which will eventually have three properties so basically i'm storing what was typed by the person and what was responded by the ai so i'm storing those information as an array so that i can just mimic that as a conversation in the front end okay so and then the response model is a model that uh, the, the structure of the model which has been sent by the ai response okay so that's the model that i have created as an interface uh, nothing else so you can see the json structure of the response and the, if you translate that this is how you will get an interface okay so fairly simple so we have these interfaces and then if you see uh, there are a couple of methods basically whenever you start putting some information in the text box and hit on enter uh, you know the content that you type will be pushed as the question that was asked by you will store that with a particular css and then in the array and then once the response has been received from the chat gpt right so like you know uh, once you receive that that will be stored as a second person response okay so if you see this invoke gpt method basically it creates an a uh, configuration instance and then open up the instance of the open api the open ai api and then it formats the request body right so you can see what kind of model is used what was the temperature used what or what are those parameters okay so based on that parameters this ai will take the request and respond a uh, text so that text has been now added as a response and that is how you see as a conversation in the ui okay it's very very simple app if you take a look at this you will be able to understand so uh, do not forget to change the key in order for this app to work i cannot share my key because the keys are unique okay so i will share you this complete thing so if you see this so if you see the ui it's basically to show this nice thing right so as if that you're typing and then there is somebody is responding so it it comes as a chat now if you modify this ui to however you want you can literally bring in uh, you know chat to the right bottom of the web page okay and uh, i think that's it i hope you enjoyed you know how to create any chat bot or anything based on the ai uh, in angular application itself if you like my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and write some comments in the comment section what you think about this video thank you i'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.